uh, and then I've created another CRUD called Features, or for real estate, sometimes it's called Amenities. So, for example, things like Wi-Fi, parking, and all of that. So, basically, check boxes that people will check uh, when entering their uh, ads, their real estate projects. And it's the same logic as Cities. So, add new, edit, delete, one field for name, nothing else. And the thing I want to show you now is how to make menu items active or inactive. And then we need to change this one because it's hard coded in the code. So let's start with the title. And I will do kind of a dirty hack here because now currently in our layouts admin blade, as you can see, we have cities. And how can we pass the title from controller or from wherever to the to the blade? And I won't actually do the passing, and I will rely on URL. So this part will be actually the title here. And the way to do that is add request, request helper, and segment. And segment should be two. It starts from zero, so no, segment number one. And with that, I will do uh, UC first with first letter. And I guess that's it. And let's test if it actually works. So it should show features. Oh, it shows admin. So it starts with one. All right, segment zero is this one, the URL. So we need to use segment number two which should be features, and if we go to cities, it should show cities. Good. Now, as you can see, both menu items are active. They have class active in here. So inside bar menu, class active, class active. How to check if the class is active? We will do the same thing, basically. Um, we will use request segments. So if, uh, no, not here. So class will be empty. And in here, if request segment of two equals cities, then it will be active, else nothing, uh, this. Right, so if it is cities, cities whatever, so basically it will work with cities and also with cities create, cities edit, Whatever comes after the cities, it doesn't matter, or edit form, it will still show active. And let's copy the same logic to features here. So if the segment number two is features, then it will be active. And let's check that cities is active currently. Menu item, if we click fit features, then that becomes inactive. So that was a quick uh, thing I wanted to show how to use request segments to name the titles or active menu items.